What's up, everybody? Happy Wagon Wagyu Wednesday. It's your boy Bookerwood Trent back on the Yap this beautiful Wednesday morning in the comfort of my own backyard. Hope you guys had a great night last night. I sure as hell did. We went up five fucking units. Let's go, boys. Uh, I'm, I'm shocked with myself the way we've been handling the books this past week. We're up nine units on the week, and it's only Wednesday, and we got to keep it rolling. Recapping last night. I, I kind of low-key sucks for the morning yap when I go up units because I don't have anything to bitch about, hardly anything. Um, but everybody was shitting on my NBA plays last night. I had the Bucks at plus money at home against the fucking Boston Celtics, right? Uh, surely the Celtics should be free. I fucking bet the Bucks win in a blowout. I think it was a blowout. Uh, I forget how the, la the last five minutes went, but that was a massive win for the Bucks. Giannis went down, however, and chalked our Giannis over points. That was unfortunate. But we'll take the two unit W on the box. And how about the Clippers plus seven and a fucking half? But, 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 but Harden and Kawhi aren't playing on the road. I fucking bet. That was actually one of the freest bets I've ever made in my whole life. Their score at one point was 38 to four. You can't make that up. Uh, it actually kind of got sweaty for Moneyline bettors at the end of the game there, shockingly. Uh, but we closed it out. Harden didn't end up playing for our prize picks entry, and so I sneak nuked a late night entry that had Trout and Paul George in it. Paul George, or sorry, Mike Trout hits a fucking piss nuke. That dude's on fire. Shout out the Halos. Uh, and Paul George, I mean, goddamn it, the blowout certainly didn't help. Uh, he finished with 23, I needed 25, I fucking bet. Uh, but those two NBA plays, man, that shocked the world. Am I an NBA sharp? I just might be, folks. Uh, which we're going to run back today, some NBA. Um, but some, the baseball yesterday as well didn't, didn't go uh, ho horrible. We actually had some W plays. Dodgers first five, Glasnow. I mean, I took Glasnow's Green Goblin Ks. Talk about soft as baby shit. Uh, six and a half Green Goblin Ks, he doubled that. I think he got 14 strikeouts. Uh, that was a legacy outing from the GOAT Glasnow, and that's why we take the Dodgers first five when he's on the bump. Uh, the course over was rat shit. Couldn't get any runs after four in the first inning. I fucking bet that's just how baseball goes. Guarantee you that shit goes over today. Uh, Shea Langoliers might be Barry Bonds, question mark. Three home runs in Arlington against the fucking reigning champs. Yeah, that actually makes sense, right? Uh, Rangers by two was a shit wager. And shout out Chef T. Dude had a fucking 10 leg fucking Hail Mary parlay. Everything hit. The last leg was Rangers team total over five and a half, and they only scored four runs. Moose shit. Uh, Chef T, keep doing it, man. You've been killing it, though. That's actually a hor horrible way to lose, especially to the Oakland A's, especially when they have bases loaded, nobody out. Very rarely will you see a bases loaded, nobody out for a professional baseball team, and they don't score a single fucking run. Uh, so shout out the Rangers, but we might be going back to them today. So uh, hold your breath on that. And everybody, all the sharps are saying that the over in the Royals game yesterday was a whale with Reagans on the bump. What a shit bet. It was always the under. Uh, and we squeaked by and stayed under even going into extra innings. Let's fucking go Royals. Uh, so huge wins on that. We went up five units. No matter what happens, at the end of the day, all we care about is fading Booker with Trent on Twitter is in rat piss. And yesterday, he was in rat piss. He actually DM'd me saying, yo, can you stop getting W plays from the books, please? Because you're killing me over here. Yeah, that's the whole fucking point, bro. So we're dialed in. Uh, last night, we did our first stream on playback, which allows us to watch the games with you guys. Uh, and it's awesome. I had a great fucking time watching the Thunder game last night. Sabonis, so unfortunately, couldn't come through for that prize pick century uh, for the SGP that I crafted on Twitter. But uh, it was a great stream, and I can't wait to do more of those. They're unveiling MLB uh, later this summer, and hopefully we get to use it for NBA playoffs because it literally changes the game for streaming. Is it fucking raining right now? You guys are getting a morning yap in the rain. Talk about commitment. Holy shit. All right, well, let's make this quick because I don't want to spend too much time out here in the rain. I've got some plays for you. Minimal bitching and minimal mail time today because I'm actually up nine units on the week, so too many people aren't that mad at me right now. Uh, let, let me give you my plays, and I've got a five-man prize picks entry that I'm absolutely in love with, uh, but I've got four diamond plays, 
two NBA plays. No hockey, because that shit sucks and I never win. Uh, but let's go right back to the goddamn mo fucking Rangers in Arlington. It is pouring in the morning yap, fellas. Special edition show. Rangers minus one and a half with Cody Bradford on the bump against the rat shit A's. One thing I know about baseball, if shit's chalked the day before, you go right back to it the next day. Rangers are going to win by double digits potentially tonight. Um, I'm putting harder and coin on the Rangers again against the Oakland A's. Let's go to the next game on the diamond. We're going with the Mets Braves over nine and a half. We got Quintana on the bump. And I forget who's on the bump for the fucking Braves today, but it's some dude I've never even heard of. Winans. Winans. Uh, welcome to the big leagues, Alan Winans. Uh, you're going to have to go up against the Mets bats today. Uh, regardless of win ands or win loss, whatever the fuck his name is, uh, Jose Quintana, I don't expect him to pitch too much or to pitch too well today against the Braves, who are starting to figure it out and score some runs. We're seeing Acuna get active on the bases yesterday, which is great. I expect nothing different um, in this game tonight. The game soared over yesterday, six to five, um, and I, I expect the same result tonight in Atlanta. Give me runs in that game, over nine and a half. We're moving. We've got the Dodgers minus one and a half. By the time you see this, the game will probably already be started, but just know that I've got hella units on the Doyers today. Midday Dodgers usually never goes well. Uh, it's kind of a lazy pick. So if you see this before the game, I wouldn't tail it. But we got Bobby Miller on the bump today, and he's a fucking stud. The Dodgers are starting to click, which is scary as hell for the rest of the league. So you know I've got units on them basically almost every fucking night. Uh, but take that with a grain of salt because I bet on them every fucking night. So uh, Dodgers by two for a two-unit play. And then let's go to the last play on the diamond. I'm riding with one of my fucking goats on the bump today, Hunter Green and the uh, Cincinnati Reds. Yeah, we're fucking on the Reds' bed tonight, folks. Uh, Reds' money line, minus 130. Shout out, Mego. Uh, minus 130 against the Brew Crew at home. Uh, the Reds, if they start to figure it out and click, they're going to be trouble for the rest of the league as well. Um, but if Hunter Green can dial the fuck in and strike out eight Brewers today, we're going to be Jeff Bezos. So we're riding with the Reds and Ellie De La Donas, uh, and the Cincinnati boys against the Brewers today. Those are my four MLB plays. Still pouring rain out here, so let's kind of get this going quickly. Um, those are my four MLB plays, all two units, fading book with Trent. You can mark that down for all two unit plays. Two NBA plays. Rumor has it I'm an NBA sharp. Uh, and I'm going to show you today that I can go 2-0 again on the NBA plays. Last night, Clippers and Suns. Easiest bet of my whole life. Let's go right back to it and fade the fuck out of them. Give me the Suns minus 4.5. Same matchup, just a day later. They played 24 hours ago. Um, we don't know if Harden's playing or not yet. I don't even give a fuck if he plays or not. Why are the, why are the Suns favored at or on the road after beating them, or after losing to them by almost 30 fucking points. There was this time in that game where they were down by literally 40 points. Uh, and for the Suns to be favored on the road again, uh, that's pretty telling to me. I bet the lines, uh, so we're betting lines, and we're betting the Suns today. And when I take the Suns, I rarely lose. They know how to respect coin like UConn basketball. So we're going there. Before I give you this next play, I got to give a shout out to Anthony fucking Edwards last night because I've got him in my season long goat whale over 26 points for the season. He's at 25.9, desperately needed him to have fucking huge night and he goes out and drops a 50 burger. So W Anthony Edwards for keeping that goat whale alive. Fuck Jordan Poole for chalking it, but we're still sweating the 2X for 10,000. So we need that. Uh, but speaking of Anthony Edwards and his 50 burger, yeah, I fucking bet. We're fading the fuck out of that. Nuggets minus six and a half at home tonight against the T-Wolves. Big game, playoff atmosphere. Nuggets know how to cover spreads. Um, and hopefully Jamal Murray is going to play tonight for us because uh, that would be a big factor. Um, but I didn't see him on prize picks yet. And that's, that's why I hate betting NBA this early in the day. But whatever, you guys need plays. I'm giving you plays and we're going with the Nuggets. Minus six and a half. Holy yappage. Uh, those are my six fucking plays. Rangers by two. Mets Braves over nine and a half, Reds money line, Dodgers minus one and a half, Suns spread, Nuggets spread. A lot of chalk and a lot of overs. 
That's the book it would Trent way. You won't see me taking rat shit underdogs and shit organizations in my bets, bro, because I can't fucking stand when people try and get too cute and take the Oakland A's plus one and a half and they lose by 10. That's like the worst way. I would rather have minus one and a half Rangers and they lose outright to Shea Bangaliers hitting three fucking home runs uh, than, than get caught taking a rat shit org to cover and they fucking lose by a million. Uh, that's just me though, that's just me. All right, let me wrap this up. We got a quick five leg prize picks entry that's already fucking green, okay? I've been pretty dialed on these prize picks entries. They haven't, been, uh, they haven't been going fully green. I've given you one fully green one in the last like seven days. Uh, let's forget about that. But I've got five plays that are going to fucking smack for the kids tonight. It starts with this Matt Olson fantasy score against Quintana today. Something in my plums tells me that he's hitting a fucking piss nuke. Uh, I don't have any sell job other than that today. And I'm pretty sharp with my goat, Matt Olson. Uh, so let's move on to the next one. MJ Melendez, my goat. Fantasy owners are splooging if you drafted MJ Melendez this year because he's going off uh, against the Astros today. We're getting a rookie pitcher making his debut for the Strohs. His name's fucking Arigetti, Spencer Arigetti or some shit. Who the fuck is that? I don't know, but MJ Melendez is going to hit a piss nuke off him too. Uh, so we're going MJ Melendez, hit run RBI. Hunter Green strikeouts for the third MLB leg at seven. I, I uh, took him in his last start. I struck out five in three innings, low pitch count. I'm like, dude, this is a fucking free square. Dude had an 0-2 count to literally every guy he faced. And then he comes out in the fourth, 0-2 count, ground out. 0-2 count, fly out. 0-2 count, fucking walk. He couldn't finish the job. And so today I expect him to clean it up against the Brewers, who do strike out a lot. I think he gets 10 plus Ks, and I think he pitches a gem. Uh, let's go to the two NBA legs. You're gonna laugh at these last two legs. Death beam square, Booker assists. I didn't give it to you the last time he played or the last game before that. But the two games before that I gave it to you and it was green. I know how to pick my spots with Booker. I love the Suns tonight and Booker assists tonight. He's getting 10 plus and we just need eight. So we're getting eight from him. And this one's disgusting, but I couldn't get away from it. After having a fucking bagel last night, Shug's bagel, almost a bagel, but he had a bagel at half. Clint Capella against the Hornets is a must take tonight. I know they're playing a back-to-back, -back, but uh, dude, Capella last night was so much pain. Cost me 10,000 on my surgical stream entry. Um, and what do we do here? We go right back to it if shit chalks the night before. Clint Capella, points and assists, or points and rebounds, sorry, against the Hornets tonight. Hopefully the Hornets can keep it somewhat close against, these, uh, against the Hawks. They're not even that good. It's an 11 point spread. The Hornets could definitely keep that close. Uh, but that's the five, man. 500 to win 5K. Matt Olson, MJ Melendez, Hunter Green, Devin Booker, and Capella points and rebounds. I'm fucking dialed. People are sleeping on the kid on the yap sessions because I'm up nine units on the week and we gotta keep it rolling. It is still raining out here and I know the boys gotta get up to their live show. So I'm gonna wrap this one up. No mail time today because mail time's been pretty weak, especially when I'm up units. Um, so apologies for that, but let's lock in. Let's have a great, strong uh, ending to the week. It's Wednesday, we're halfway home, um, and a big weekend ahead for the Masters. Stay tuned for my Masters prize picks entry I'm gonna be dropping on Twitter, and it's gonna have a payout boost as well. Shout out prize picks for that. Uh, but can't wait for the Masters, and I'm also doing a 24-hour stream coming up uh, this weekend as well, so stay tuned for that. But W, Yap Session. Lock this shit in. Start tailing the kids so you can bitch on the feed with me, all right? Much love. GG's. We'll be fucking seeing. Peace out and good luck on your shit bets.